YouTube, it's Mortimer, and today I am gonna be doing a different video for you guys. We've gotten a couple requests for it. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did my makeup in high school, um, which I was missing a lot of tools that are popular these days. When I was in high school, there was no beauty blender, there was no contouring, there was no highlighting, there was no strobing, like all of these new popular things weren't around then. Um, so this is gonna be a disaster. Um, I can't wait to uh, show you guys how I did my makeup in high school. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. I just washed my face. I have no moisturizer on, no primer on, because I didn't use any of that stuff in high school. Who needs that stuff? Um, so I'm gonna be putting on some foundation. I'm just using um, CoverGirl plus Olay Ageless Foundation, and I'm gonna put it on with my hands because that's what I did when I was in high school. And I didn't do any tapping motions or anything like that. I just rubbed it right onto the skin, just like this, yep. Uh, I used a Dream Matte Mousse, which I think is still in stores today. Um, that's what I used when I was in high school. Um, and yeah, I would usually just apply that with my hands. I don't think I ever really used anything to help apply it. I was a weird kid. You see, my mom never wore makeup, ever. Uh, so everything that I've learned about makeup, I've like learned on my own. Um, the same with my sister. We never like, you know, YouTube wasn't around to watch makeup videos back then. You just kind of experimented until you got it right. And my first Sephora store didn't open up near my house until I was like, 16 or 17. So like all the makeup that I could get was from like Walmart or like Target um, or like the grocery store. Uh, there were no Ulta's near my house. There were no makeup stores. Um, and I grew up in Florida. So if you're wondering where that was at. All right. Um, now one last important step. Uh, when I would put on my foundation before I go to school in the morning, um, not only would I cover my face with it, I would also put it on my lips uh, because seam makeup was really big at the time and that involved having very dramatic and dark eye makeup. So you wanted your lips to be really pale to kind of contrast it. It also created kind of a sickly look, uh, which was really cool back then. So I did that. All right, so even though I like the appearance of looking sickly, um, I still put on blush. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put on some powder blush in the brightest pink shade I can find, because that's what I did. And I'm not sure if it's true, if my sister is just being mean, but my sister would always tell me that I had too much blush on. Um, so we, we, might just, we might just put on too much blush today and see how it goes. How do you like that now, Jean? Does that freak you out, too much blush? And even back then I would put a little bit on the end of my nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my setting powder now. I'm using the Kat Von D translucent setting powder. Back then I just used like a pressed compact of powdered makeup on powdered foundation on top of my foundation that I already had put on. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this on all over because I don't have a powder foundation right now to put on top, but you guys get the picture. So this is basically like the base of my makeup. I would never ever go to school without my eyeliner on though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, and I did it a little bit differently back then. Um, it was mostly the same shape. I still had the inner corner and the tail, uh, but I covered my entire lid with black. So we're gonna try that out now. So I would just go ahead and draw across the entire lid, like follow that crease. And yeah, that, I would fill all of that in. Just like that. It's a lot of black. Let it dry for a second. This is bringing me back, guys. All right, and then I would do a big curly wave. And I would draw along the entire bottom of my eye really thickly, like that, and let that dry. It's a little bumpy, but I mean, I was a high school student, so didn't expect top-notch makeup at five in the morning. All right, and once that was dried, I would do the inner corner. Uh, so I would just do the, like I do pretty much now. Just like that. So that's how I would do my eye in high school. I'm glad it's changed. 
All right, so once I had my eyeliner on the way I liked it, I'd put on a little bit of mascara. Um, and I usually use uh, whatever was popular in drugstores at that time. Maybelline, the pink and green bottle, whatever was like big at the time. I get a different one every week because I usually came out a different one every week. So go ahead and put that on. I remember the first time I wore fake eyelashes. I tried to wear them to high school and uh, it was so cringy. I wore a, a school girl outfit to school. My school didn't have uniforms, but I thought that it should. Um, and I tried to do fake eyelashes and they were just like hanging off. But I thought I was the coolest thing in the world. Um, and bless my teachers for not pulling me aside and being like, girl, pull yourself together. Uh, but yeah, nobody, not even my friends, I think they were all very supportive. Uh, they knew I was an odd one. None of my friends in high school really wore makeup either. My best friend, uh, Marin, she would do like powder concealer, like foundation, and like that was it. I mean, not many of my friends in high school wore makeup, but I know things are different nowadays. Everybody wears makeup. Now here's the kicker, this was before people did their eyebrows, so that was about that. Uh, in my senior year of high school, I started using NYX's eyebrow kit, which is still available in stores today. It comes in like three little compartments in a square rectangle box. Uh, one was powder, one was wax, and then the bottom compartment was a little brush. Um, and I started using that in my senior year of high school, but for most of high school, I didn't do my eyebrows. That was it. Um, so yeah, this would be the finished look of how I did my makeup in high school. Um, it's not glamorous, it's not cute, uh, but I thought I was cute, uh, for sure. And what a difference not having contouring on makes. Um, I would not wear this out today. It's a little bit too, uh, I don't know, it's like a relic of yesterday. This was like the real like emo scene kid makeup of yonder. Um, occasionally I would dabble in eyeshadow, but for the most part, I would wake up late, have to run and catch the bus. I would just do eyeliner like crazy and then run after the bus. Um, and like I said, not I didn't miss any days, any chances to wear eyeliner in high school. I literally wore eyeliner every single day. Like I was the girl that people asked if I had my eyeliner tattooed on, like, I don't know, I thought that people would think I was ugly without it back then. Um, and after a while, I felt like I was shoehorned into it that I had to because it was my signature look. Um, and that's not a good place to get into, especially as a creative person. You need to be able to have outlets to change how you look um, and express yourself. So don't let yourself get shoehorned into being like, Oh, I'm, I'm this girl and this is my look and this is my signature look. Don't shoehorn yourself into that spot. Learn from my mistake. Uh, expand yourself. Don't be afraid to try new things. Um, because I went from doing my makeup like this to enjoying playing with makeup and some days not even doing makeup and just being myself. Um, so please don't get stuck in a rut and do the same thing every day just because you feel obligated to. Um, and I guess that's kind of my moral of the story today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's really weird for me to see myself looking like this. I'm kind of tempted to take a picture and send it to my husband because this is how I was doing my makeup around when we were first, you know, dating. So it's quite a throwback. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have so many more awesome videos coming up that you guys just don't want to miss. And I will not be wearing this makeup in those videos. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.